I'm going to try and get a view from underneath here. I'm taking the starter off. I've got the negative cable off the battery. And the last bolt for the starter has to come out. Okay, a good reason why it won't turn over. I can't really see inside the starter yet, but I can definitely see inside that cover. Okay, so there's the inside of my starter. I wanted it to kick in a couple of times. Working on my last bolt on this cover <laughs> alright I'm scared to see what's in here all the bolts are out that ain't coming hey yeah it's not a good sign at all doesn't want to turn over. <laughs> Let me get my light up in here. I'm going to check this out. <laughs> There's my flywheel. Completely cake full back here behind the torque converter. Holy crap! <laughs> and there's the cover. Holy, this thing's got to weigh like 20 pounds. That is some thick stuff in there. Look at that. <laughs> and there's still lots more in there yet. I'm gonna get some of the mud scraped out by the flywheel and the torque converter. leave the cover off and the rest of that should splash out of there. So that's about how much I got on the trailer from what come up in between the torque converter and the tranny mostly. That's about as good a shot as I'm gonna get of the starter. Got it sitting on top of the frame right there. There now I haven't even unhooked it yet and just left it hanging up there by the on the frame. Well that's not it's not hanging on the wires, it's just sitting on the frame. I'm gonna pick some of this junk up. Oh, more's falling out from in between here again. Oh well, get the starter cleaned out first. Maybe this thing will turn over yet. I didn't really want to get under here with the power washer, so I'm just going to get the air compressor and blow a lot of that junk out of the teeth and out of the gear from the starter. And then I'm going to put it back on and try and fire this baby up. So, there's going to be a lot of mud flying around here, so I guess you can't watch. 
I've got the starter back on and just going to put the negative cable back on. Any bets on whether she fires up? I say she will. Gonna go hammer on the starter a little bit, see what happens. Try number two. Finally got fed up and Got a few other starters kicking around here and another one that's packed full of mud. So I went out and bought a new one. 116 bucks. That's not too bad of a price for a rebuild. And I'll just leave that off for now. Put that in and we're going to fire her up. Alrighty. Try her again. My wife's getting in right now. She's gonna give a little start. So far that much of a blob came out of the exhaust pipe just above it there. So she's gonna fire it up and Nasty puddle. Did you see it come out? Yeah, some was still plopping out, but probably nothing like what happened at first. Mm -mm. I didn't get the first start on video, but boy, you can see how much it was junk was in my exhaust pipes. This came out of the second exhaust pipe, which is right here, it's a little bit longer. And the other one is way up there. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty dark up there. But it plopped that much down on the trailer. That's pretty cool. in the daylight out here you can see the two strips right there are the streaks those are both from the exhaust that one further up and this one that's how much mud it sprayed out when I first fired it up
So this is a week after the mud fest and I was out here cleaning up. I just happened to notice this jug right there. Um, my trailer had been parked. Well, the tail end was about right there. The back end of my trailer right where that uh, aluminum line is there. And that jug right there got sprayed from the exhaust pipe. So here's the start of where the exhaust was while it was on the truck. And there's the other exhaust pipe from right there. Back you can see the stream of mud that blew out. Right here. This is my pan or my cover for the torque converter. That's what it looks like now about a week later. And I haven't got around to cleaning those out yet.